Vince Beagle replacements coming at you here at Chat Sports. I'm Mitchell Renz, and if you haven't already subscribed to the fastest growing Dolphins channel on YouTube, do it. I dare you. So let's get into the news around Beagle, who did suffer a torn Achilles on Tuesdays or in Tuesday's practice. Very unfortunate news for an up and coming young player on this Miami Dolphins. He unfortunately will miss the remainder, or I shouldn't say remainder, the entire 2020 season. The real question now here is, and I'm curious what y'all have to say to this, he did sign a one-year $2.13 million tenure with the team, but he's going to be an unrestricted free agent in 2021. Will the Miami Dolphins end up bringing back Beagle next year? But it is unfortunate news because he is coming off his career best season where he had 59 tackles, seven tackles for a loss, and he might have been the third best linebacker on this team, but he was at least a versatile linebacker as well able to get after the quarterback, showed some promise in the pass game as well with that one interception. This is a big hit to this defense. That's why I'm making the video of some potential replacements. So what I want you all to do right now, pay your respect to Beagle. I know the Dolphins community here is a very, very strong one. So wish him a fast and speedy recovery on every single person that watches this video to scroll on down and type 47. Jadeveon Clowney. And the reason why I'm going to put Clowney on this list I see a lot of fans saying, why don't we run a 3-4 defense? A lot of other fans, well, we have a solid 4-3 defense. Yes, they go back and forth. But if you want to maybe go to a one side of the defense and have a very successful one, go out and get Clowney, who, yes, is still looking for $17 million. There was a report that came out on Sunday or Monday that said that he's not going to budge on that, and I don't anticipate that. Some Dolphins fans might be a little bit salty at the fact that Clowney has rejected to go there before, but I'll say this. This 3-4 front is pretty. You have Kyle Van Noy, you have Shaq Lawson, Rakeem Davis, Christian Wilkins, and then Jadeveon Clowney. If that's not one of the best 3-4 fronts in the entire National Football League, I don't know what is. So after seeing that, after knowing that the Dolphins can run a whole bunch of different schemes, should they go out and sign Clowney for about $17 million? Give me an S for sign, give me a P for pass, and I'm always curious, what you guys have to say. Let's go to a familiar face now, shall we? Cameron Wake, and this is maybe you don't want to go out and pay Clowney. You want to go out and get a lesser option who is a little bit older, who has spent some time, obviously, with the team his first 10 seasons, and is one of the greatest players, I think, to ever put on a Dolphins uniform on the defensive side of the football. Now, he's definitely struggled with some injuries recently, played a little bit of outside linebacker last season for the Titans, and you're not going to get the Cameron Wake that a lot of y'all, you know, grew up loving. But... At 38 years old, if he is healthy, knows at least what the it takes to be a successful Dolphin, you bring him in on a cheap contract if you don't want to go out and pay a guy like Clowney. So I'm curious. Uh, I've seen a lot, a lot of debates here on this one. What scheme should Miami use, 4-3 or a 3-4? If you want to let me know and say, hey, they should continue to run both, that's what this show is all about. Let me know, 4-3 or a 3-4. The reason why I'm going to go with a 3-4 is because when you look at a lot of the free agents out there, a lot of them I think would be best suited as an edge rusher slash, slash linebacker. Perfect example here is Clay Matthews, who, not going to put up eight sacks again, was coming off a pretty solid year, and unfortunately for him, he broke his jaw. I don't know what that feels like. I hope I never have to know what it feels like. But I can't imagine playing a contact sport with a broken jaw is ever going to be a good thing. But at 34 years old, has played with a lot of different teams, going to be able to bring a lot of experience. And if you are confident in McMillan and Jerome Baker, potentially having Kyle Van Noy and Clay Matthews there as a 3-4 linebackers, that's a good thing. Another good thing, staying safe. And I'm going to continue to tell you all, go out there, get these masks, make sure you're doing the right thing. They fit all ages, all sizes. We got you covered. You can go to chatsports.com slash Dolphins Masks. They got packs of three, packs of four. The only thing that I ask, okay, before you purchase it, make sure you see when they ship because some will ship out the very next day. One that does ship out in one business day is this single Dolphins mask that you can get for $14.99. They've been selling super, super fast, so fast that some of them unfortunately have been put on back order. So all I ask is this, when you go buy them, make sure you see when the shipping date is. Let's go to Michael Kendricks now, and uh, he's, his, his name's been popping up in the news here. There's been some teams connected to him, and obviously a very talented player. Bad news for him, though, he still could face jail time for insider trading. I mean, that's not going away anytime soon. 
He has gotten better in pass coverage, but if you were to tell me, out of all the linebackers right now that are available, and let's be real, the reason why he's available is because of the insider trading. If you were to tell me which player that you think could come in right away and be a productive player like a Beagle, I'm going to point my finger and say Michael Kendricks, who, yes, is better in the run game, yes, can get after the quarterback, but is trying to get better, and you've seen it at least last year, did get a little bit better in the passing game. So what you see on screen right now are his 2019 coverage stats. 85.7% completion percentage, that's not good. However, four pass breakups, an interception, and only 302 yards. When somebody did catch the football, they didn't go very, very far. I'm seeing how far this channel can go. And if you haven't already subscribed to the fastest growing Dolphins channel on YouTube, you need to get with the program. So you can see the link below, youtube.com slash Dolphins News, where we do rumors, we do news. Heck, I just put out a video the other day of some winners and losers at training camp. Go check it out. I would definitely appreciate it. The last player that I'm going to bring up here is... Darren Lee, and Darren Lee proved to me that you got to be more than an athlete to make it in the league. You want to talk about speed? I believe you ran a 4.3940 at the combine, and if you're looking for speed at the linebacker position, it's him. However, that's really all he is, is an athlete and very underdeveloped player. But I know a lot of y'all are very, very confident in the Miami Dolphins and their coaching staff, and the only player over 30 years old right now on Miami is actually Ryan Fitzpatrick. So if you're really trying to do this youth movement, bring in a lot of young guys, perhaps you could have coaches who are dealing with a lot of young players get the potential out of Darren Lee, who, you know, was a first-round pick. So out of the five names that I brought up that are free agents, I'm going to end the video with this question here. If you had to pick one of them, okay, if you had to pick one of them to sign, who would you go with? Would you go with Jadeveon Clowney? Type JC. Tell me why in the comments. Would you go with Cameron Wake at 38 years old? Type CW. Would you go with Clay Matthews, CM, Michael Kendricks, an MK, or Darren Lee, a DL? Let me know. And if you've made it this far in the video, I appreciate you. So throw us a like.